Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your man, Azriel, the one here. Say, sorry about the poor lighting. Um, I was just really doing this video on an impromptu spot. So, I'm going to get right the fuck in on it. As always, before I got to go in, I got this video, I'm going to give a disclaimer. Now, normally, I don't do response videos responding to another person that ain't got shit to do with me. I usually don't. But I gotta address this. So if this is the type of video that you don't want to watch, I ask you to please watch any of my other videos. Please do. I'm going to try to be as politically correct. I'm going to try to be as very non-profane as I can. But don't be surprised if some foul language comes out, some very angry statements get made, and some very exacting promises are, are placed on the table. Now having all that been said, Now, I happen to be perusing Marnie Woodgrain's channel, and some of y'all might see I did one video on him back in the day, but you know what I'm saying? That wasn't even a really, I won't even say that was a beef, like, you know, it was just me voicing my opinion, and we moved on. He's a cool dude, right? So I went through his channel, and I saw this video that he put up today called The Darkness. I was like, okay. And then I saw a link to another video that he was talking about. And I'm going to put that video link in the description of this video when I get a moment. Now, when I got to that channel and I saw that video, two things were immediately off-putting to me. One is a black video, is a black picture voice. So you automatically know it's a faceless fucking troll. And two, it's this faceless troll we call Bone Picker 88. Let me get something straight to you, asshole. First and foremost, for somebody who claims to love and respect and revere and adore black women, you got some fucking balls to threaten a woman that you're going to pimp her punk ass, you're going to pimp her ass out. Call a long titty heifer, slut, whore, and bitch. Let me tell you something. Put your hands on any woman, and I hear about it. I don't give a fuck where I am in the world. I'm going to come see you. Don't get that shit twisted. As much as I sit down here and I say the shit, say the shit I say about a black woman, I mean for them to do better. But under no circumstances will I ever, whether I hear about it or I see it, will ever permit some man to exploit a woman sexually. Threaten her that way. How about this, my dude? How about you come put your hands on me? Real talk. That's first off. And I want to get that little small side note. Deal with that, false, that small side note first. You're going to make her suck dick and sell pussy out there. Really? Really? Is that what you're going to do? I don't even know this chick. I have never seen her, never spoke to her, never interacted with her. But I promise you my weebalization. And that's some real Brooklyn shit. Put your hands on that female if you want to. I swear by almighty God and sunny Jesus, on my unborn child, I make you this promise, bone picker. You and I are going to tangle. It's going to be a throwdown in Midtown. The thriller in Manila. The rumble in the fucking Bronx. You think you got some brass balls lying? Well, come step to this dragon and let me see. Let me, let me show you what it's really about. Secondly, I don't know where the fuck you think you get off threatening the people's family. Oh, hey, while we're on the subject of that, do me a favor. Stop claiming my fucking people. Stop claiming my fucking island. That's the island where my family came from. As a matter of fact, let's, 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 let's put it out there. My grandfather is, two, is, is first generation from Spanish Town, Jamaica. Here. My grandmother is Irish and Appalachian. So when you talk that Jamaican posse shit, that shit don't sit right with me, brother, at all. Oh, you can make a couple of phone calls here in Brooklyn, I promise you, every dread that ever seen me, watch me grow the fuck up. And they'll be too easy, so easy to come put their hands and feet on you for trying to come do me something. So what's up? Now back to my main point. You want to sit up here and threaten another man's family. All right, cool. I get it. See, I can't take you seriously on the fact that one is has, it's not me personally. That's one. Two, and more importantly, because any man that gonna sit there and hide behind a fucking screen and pass threats is a motherfucker that ain't usually worth the time and the merit to put a bullet in. 
He's not. But make no mistake. I understand how Monty Woodgrain feel. Because see, that punk ass Clifton was talking about my wife. And I was more than happy to go put hands and feet on Clifton. So I understand how Monty Woodgrain feel. I know how he feel. I'm just as mad as he is. And it's not even happening to me because you know why? I've been there. Y'all motherfuckers take this YouTube shit way too fucking seriously. But that's all right. Because I'm going to make a very public statement. Although I am not in any way affiliated with Team Woodgrain, I'm not a part of Team Woodgrain. But I show them love and support. You know why? Because they're trying to elevate themselves to do positive shit, do real shit for the black community. Unlike you sons of bitches over there at TRS. You know, the real retard section. I'm going to say it straight out. If by chance that fate blesses the two of you out of meat, if Monty Woodgrain decides to put a bullet in you for trying to flex, not only will I come out of my pocket and go up there personally to support him, to beat his criminal child, I'm going to come out my pocket again so he can sue the shit out of you two. See, the difference is, Bone Picker, is that you are pussy. I know your type very well. The motherfuckers that talk the whole bunch of shit hide behind a black screen. See, at least, and this is not a knock on Tyrone and Clifton, as much as I can't stand those motherfuckers and I wouldn't piss on them if they were on fire to put the flames out, at least I can respect those two ass clowns for being men and say, you know what, I'm saying it. What the fuck you going to do about it? I can respect that. I don't respect everything they do. I don't respect 95%, not fuck 95, 99% of the shit they do. But at least I can respect the fact that they ain't got to hide their face. Well, Clifton hides his face a little bit more than, than Tyrone, if at all. But that's not neither here nor there. At least I can respect them for that. You? You? Nah, dog. And speaking of which, you like calling my fucking name out your mouth because it's gotten back to my fucking, it's gotten back to my desk that you like to talk about me and talk about my physical appearance. That's fine. Because that's all you've got is ad hominem attacks. So that's what you're going to keep doing. That's what kind of little bitches like you do. Talk shit. I'm willing to bet you like a transvestite version of Miss Sophia Sophia. I swear to God. I'm willing to bet. That's why you hide your face. There I go making ad hominem attacks. So I'll cool out. Look, Bone Picker. This is a very, very open, this is a very big, broad paintbrush. And I'm painting a very big message. Put your hands on another man's family if you want to. I may not be there when shit happens to you. But I certainly will laugh about it over my morning coffee. And as far as that woman you threaten, this is straight up the truth, my dude. Put your hands on her if you want to. Violate her if you want to. Bone pick up and make it real clear for you. I'm a military service veteran, right? But you know this already. You know I was an in intelligence, right? Yeah, you know that too. So let me explain what that means, motherfucker. That means there's nowhere you can go on this earth that I can't find you. And while I won't kill you, I will certainly drag your punk ass back to see justice. I will find you. Just like I can find Tyrone, I can find Clifton, I can find anybody and your punk ass team. And show up right on the doorstep. I will find you. Now, if you want to go ahead and make a video about me, you go do that. While I laugh at you, getting all riled up and trying to cuss me like you saying something. Go ahead. You've been warned. 